All right, class, so this is uh, question number seven from the quiz, but this is a, a typical collecting gas over water um, problem. So I just wanted to, to talk through this. I've been getting a lot of questions about this type of problem in particular. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sort of break down the problem and, and draw a little picture. I really think that, that these little pictures, as sort of simple as it is, it is really helpful. So in this space, we've got our H2 gas. The volume here is equal to 3.78 liters. So we've collected 3.78 liters of gas. Um, we're given a temperature, 45 degrees Celsius. And then we're given a pressure. And this pressure, 1.02 atmospheres, that's the total pressure. And we would assume that that's the total pressure inside of that tube and outside, right? That's the, that's the pressure pushing down um, on the, the water. So it will also be the pressure inside of that tube of that gas. Now, I'm gonna write P total. And the reason that I'm writing P total is because not only do I have H2 gas in there, but I will also have H2O gas. Every single time we collect gas over water, there will be some water vapor associated with that. There will be some water vapor you know, going up into that space, and we need to take that into account essentially. So this total pressure, that's gonna be the pressure of hydrogen gas plus the pressure of water vapor. And if we can look up what the pressure of water vapor is from our table, that's 71.88 millimeters of mercury when we're at 45 degrees. So as we heat up that water, the vapor pressure is going to increase. So if we're at 45 degrees Celsius, this is the vapor pressure due to water. So in this tube, there will not only be H2 gas, but there will be some amount of H2O gas as well. So we need to take that into account. So if I wanted to figure out my pH2, that's gonna be you know P total minus my P um, from water. So I'm gonna convert this to atmospheres, that's 0 0.0946 atmospheres. So 71.88 millimeters of mercury is 0 0.0946 atmospheres. And then I can solve for pH2 as 0. Oops, 0 0.925 atmospheres. So that looks a little bit funny there, but point 925 atmospheres is my partial pressure due to hydrogen in this tube. Okay, so let's come back to that and let's go back to this, this other part of this, this question. So 3.54 grams of magnesium, and I'm gonna react that in excess HCl. So excess HCl, so this is clearly the magnesium is gonna be the limiting reagent. And if I wanna figure out the theoretical yield, how much of this is gonna theoretically be produced, I'm gonna use this 3.54 grams. The end goal of this um, problem is to determine the percent yield of hydrogen gas, and percent yield is gonna be the actual yield over the theoretical yield. So to find that theoretical yield, I'm going to convert this 3.54 grams into moles of magnesium. And then I'm going to convert my moles of magnesium into moles of hydrogen. So this is just our stoichiometry. Moles of magnesium will cancel, and I'll end up with 0 0.146 moles of hydrogen. This is my theoretical yield of H2 gas. Theoretical yield of, of hydrogen. So what this represents, this is if this reaction went perfectly, 3.54 grams of magnesium converted completely to hydrogen, I would gain, I would get 0 0.146 moles of hydrogen gas as my as my product. Okay. So now for the actual yield, well, that's what we actually obtained, right? So we actually obtained. 3.78 liters at this temperature and this pressure and so on and so forth. So to find our actual yield that we obtained, I'm gonna use PV equals an RT. Now for N, I'm looking just for the moles of hydrogen gas, right? I wanted to find the moles to figure out my percent yield. So I'm looking for the moles of hydrogen gas in this collection tube. So therefore the pressure that I'm gonna to need to use is the partial pressure of hydrogen not the total pressure, right, our total pressure up here. It needs to be the partial pressure of hydrogen in that space. Now the volume is still 3.78 liters, right? So I can put in 0 0.925 atmospheres, 3.78 liters, 
equals my moles of H2 times R.08206 and then times my temperature which will be 318 Kelvin. So make sure we remember to, to convert to Kelvin there from 45 degrees plus 273 gives us 318. And then we can solve for NH2 is 0 0.134 moles of H2. So this is my actual yield. So that's how much I actually obtained. And now to find my percent yield, that's gonna be my actual over my theoretical, how much I, I theoretically could obtain, multiply that by 100 to turn to a percent, and we get 92.0% yield for this reaction. So that's what we're looking for there. All right, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.